Alrighty, before I get to it, this is ain't going to be like a regular Raw review, I'm just going to be talking about some of the highlights that I liked during this episode of Raw. Main one, beginning of the show, Big Show, Chokeslam, Randy Orton through the announce table. Pretty good, uh, pretty good, uh, good way. Big Show coming out to get revenge after they say that he's not going to be there in Manchester because of, uh, the injuries he's su he sustained last week. Big Show coming out for, as a surprise appearance to get revenge on Randy Orton. Choke slamming him through the announce table while standing on top of the steel steps. Very good way advancing the feud, giving us a reason to actually tune in to the WWE title match. And next we uh, next highlight would be the uh, WWE Intercontinental Championship match between Curtis Axel and Dolph Ziggler. Okay match, not necessarily great, but decent for a uh, pre-taped episode of Raw. And, hated to be right on that, which uh, Curtis Axel retained, because I knew with it being pre-taped, that the spoiler of Dolph Ziggler winning would have been all over Twitter, by the time Raw went on air. Fucking dirt sheets. And all I have to say is the crowd in the UK is definitely way better than any crowd in the United States. UK audience knows how to go to Raw and have fun. Most of the U.S. crowds don't even, uh, even, uh, know how to, uh, have fun. You're paying a ticket to go to Monday Night Raw. Learn how to lighten up and have fun. Don't take wrestling so fucking serious. Which is technically most of the people here in the YWC who take this too fucking serious. And moving on, Paul Heyman made his return. He uh bitched out the fans for saying they're to blame for CM Punk attacking him. CM Punk comes out, gives the GTS to uh Curtis Axel, then beats up Punk with a uh, kendo stick, so Paul Heyman returns from the dead to get the shit kicked out of him again. That was alright, and then that leads into our main event. Daniel Bryan and CM Punk versus The Shield. Uh, like, even though it's a another rematch, it doesn't matter. If it's a match that contains Bryan, Punk, Ambrose and Rollins, it's always going to be a good match. Because these four know how to work off each other's chemistry, and they will have a good match every time, no matter how many times we've seen it. They're, they're four ROH alum, plus Roman Reigns is, is the nephew of Dwayne The Rock Johnson, it's always going to be a good match, no matter what. Then, at the end, CM Punk has Ambrose in the Anaconda Vice. Lights go out, and all of a sudden you see uh, the Wyatt family standing in the ring. They're like Ambrose, Rollins, Harper, and Rowan stand off. Then it starts going into a fight. Reigns and uh, Bray Wyatt go at it. Then all of a sudden, they're all standing in the ring. They notice Brian and Punk ringside. <laughs> and then they realize they have to work together because they both have the same common en enemy. 
and this is where it sets up what could be a pretty awesome Survivor Series, a pretty awesome classic Survivor Series elimination tag, which this could overshadow both tag matches, title matches, sorry, if they book this right. And one thing, you can ask Gemini here on YouTube, the heart, the heartbeat of the Survivor Series pay-per-view is the classic Survivor Series elimination tag match. And we haven't had a Survivor Series match that was even r memorable in the past years. Like, we got the Wyatts and the Shield possibly having Brian, <laughs> Brian, Punk, the Rhodes Brothers and the Usos, all people who have had a huge feud with the Shield and the Wyatt family in past months, book this right, this could be an epic Survivor Series match. And that's all I have to say, in segment, I give it like a good six stars overall, overall for Raw, I give it like a five star. Like, it was pretty much noth nothing but boring uh, rematches and filler content. Like, uh, Los Matadores and, uh, and Santino Morella against the Union Jackoffs, which it was technically 3M Jobber. Like, shit like that. Like, Overall, I give the show a five. Like, the main segment, I give it like a six or a six and a half. Just because it's building towards Survivor Series. So, anyway, peace the fuck out.